this is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist. And look, I'm just going to say this for the good of the order. This is the bottom line. I say this to clients, probably not enough. They're going to hear it more from me in 2024. But this is the truth with the modern day zone dive. If you can't get four yards on zone dive against a seven man front, you deserve to lose. You deserve to lose. If they're that concerned about you throwing the ball to where they have to have two safeties and you still can't get four yards running zone dive against a seven man front, you're done. You're going to lose. Like you have to be able to get four plus yards rushing on zone dive versus seven man front. They got two safeties. I mean, this isn't hard to figure out. You're running a triple team. You got the A back scanning off the place that hit the tackle, two hand slamming whoever shows. Nobody shows, you go second level. You're running the ball right behind the triple team. They've got seven people in the box. They've got two corners out there to try to be the run support players. You're forcing them to be the run support players. Because anytime they run a split safety defense, the corners are the run support player. These two guys are playing the verticals. There's, and I learned this from Navy years ago. If they give you two safeties, the corners have to be the run support. So they can't really help on the zone dive. The safeties are too far off the ball to help on the zone dive. That means they got seven people in the box and you're triple teaming one of them. So this guy's either got to come down and take the dive or come up the field and play the quarterback. Because remember, they, he's got to defend mid-triple too. So you can't get four plus yards on zone dive against a seven-man front, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. And frankly, you deserve to lose. So the bottom line is this, and, I, and, I, and I'm going to make more videos on this because I made the video yesterday about the cheat code. Look, the number one key, if you want to win in 2024, is you have to practice zone dive at least 500 times before you ever compete against another team. So you, those first 10 days of practice, you got to run zone dive 500 times. You got to run it 50 times of practice with your first offense, then 50 times with your second offense. And if you're blessed to have a third offense, you got to run it 50 times with the third offense. And you got to do it over 10 practices. Then you get to a scrimmage, competition, whatever, week zero game. And, you gotta, and then you'll be ready to go. You have to make zone dive work. And if you, if they give you two high safeties, they give you split safeties, and you still can't get four push yards on zone dive, you deserve to lose. You deserve to lose. If your offense is that much of a limper, you deserve to lose. But I'm telling you right now, if you want the hack to get over the top in 2024, you got to practice this 500 plus times before you ever compete. Before you scrimmage, compete, week zero, whatever. If you play a week zero game, you got to practice zone dive at least 500 times. And, and I say this over and over, but it holds true. Every time the Air Force plays a game and they, they get yards on zone dive, they win. If they don't, they lose. And if they win, it's because the defense absolutely bails them out. But that has an effect because the defense, believe me, these academies that have to play shutout defense, believe me, they break down fast. A position coach at one of the academies told me, he said, defense alignment can't keep weight on during the season because of the rigors of the academy and the season and how hard they have to play. play the players are losing 30, 40 pounds during the season, especially defense alignment because they can't keep weight on. So they can't keep it up. Eventually, you got to freaking, you got to get yards on zone dive. So it's real simple. If you can't get four push yards on zone dive versus seven man front, you deserve to lose. So my advice to you is become a client today. You're going to learn all the details of how to install, play, call, practice, and persist the modern day triple option offense the right way the first time. Give me a call right now. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't hold on to yourself. Do it now. Call me whether you do the academy or you do the camp. It's going to be the best decision you'll ever make. It's not even close. Go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash testimonials. You can read all the success stories that have come from the camps and the academy. And I look forward to hearing from you. See you later.